This is CNC World, a new perspective. Two researchers in the Canadian city of Toronto have created their own version of an invisibility cloak. However, objects behind the cloak wouldn't be invisible to the naked eye. Rather, what University of Toronto PhD candidate Michael Sevenayagam and his professor George Eleftheriades have created is a new cloaking method that makes objects undetectable to radar. For years, researchers around the world have been attempting to create a functioning invisibility cloak using metamaterials, that is, materials engineered to steer light to hide objects. But the issue with that always came down to the thickness and size of the material, which often had to be as large as the object they were trying to hide. The Toronto Doors Innovation, published in the latest U.S. journal Physical Review X, takes a much different approach. We're looking at a way to develop a cloaking mechanism that was different from previous works where they use materials to bend light around an object. We were trying to use uh, sources to bend light around an object. And Elif Theri Adis says the idea is simple. Instead of clothing with a physical material, they surround the object with antennas, which radiate an electromagnetic field, making it virtually undetectable to microwave and radio wave detectors. Waves do not bounce around the object, but uh, what the normally the light that uh, normally reflects from an object now is cancelled. So if you cancel the the reflections, there is no shadow, there are no reflections coming out of the object, and so it becomes invisible. With before and after shots, Salvanayagam explained the results of their demonstration. In their experiment, the pair create a contained metal box with a cylinder set in the center. Using a source to create circular wavefronts, those wavefronts are disrupted as they pass through the metal cylinder, which scatters the radio waves. The second image displays the results using their method. Those wavefronts stay circular now as they travel through because the, the cloak suppresses the light that scatters, off, that scatters off the object. And so we can see that the cloaking effect in terms of these wavefronts, it looks like they're just traveling right through. The duo says their work could be applied to many real-world situations. Besides military uses, it could also be used to create extremely thin lessons and devices that wouldn't otherwise be possible. It could also be used to make cell phone signals stronger by making buildings obstructing cell phone radiation disappear. Alef Theory Addis says a hair reporter-like invisible cloak that can camouflage objects to the naked eyes may also become a possibility in the future as technology develops. If you have a way to make uh, uh, nano antennas replace these antennas that we use for radio waves and control how they read what light they radiate, this can become also, um, I mean, uh, something that works with the eyes, and visible. So it's very scalable, this technology. News of their work has been published worldwide over the last week, and the researchers have been pouring their hearts into the project for the last year and a half couldn't be happier with the results. With any uh, research project, it's always you want to be, uh, you want to show something that someone hasn't done before, some people haven't thought of. What we were able to show you is that we were the first people to show that active cloaking is possible. You can you can really ask for more. So. This is CNC World, a new perspective.